And what we all witnessed was not journalism. It was a political debate with the morning host of the Today Show serving as, well, Joe Biden's surrogates. The president was once again asked for the 400 millionth time to repeat what he has said over and over again, to condemn white supremacy. to denounce white supremacy. In the moment, you didn't. You asked some follow-up questions. Who specifically? A couple of days later, on a different show, oh, you, you, you denounced white supremacy. No, you My question to you is, you've done this to why me and everybody. does it seem like... I denounced white supremacy, okay? You did I've two days later. I've denounced white supremacy for years, but you always do it. You always start off with a well, question. You didn't ask Joe Biden whether or not he denounces Antifa. I watched him on the same basic show with Lester Holt, and he was asking questions like Biden was a child. Well, well, so this so is a little bit ready? of a dodge. Are you, wait, are you listening? I denounce white supremacy. Okay. What's your next question? Do you feel, it, it feels sometimes you're hesitant to do so. Like you hesitant. wait a Here we go again. Every time, in fact, my people came. I'm sure they'll ask you the white supremacy question. I denounce white supremacy. Okay. Savannah, you need to get out of the New York liberal elitist out of touch bubble that you're living in. And maybe you read some other news or take a step outside the far left enclave that is conspiracy TV, MSNBC, DNC. President Trump has condemned Savannah white supremacy over and over and over and over again and if you didn't know you should have known take a look let's ever heard this president say one negative thing about white supremacists have you ever heard it racism is evil and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs including the kkk neo-nazis white supremacists do you want white supremacists to vote for you no i don't at all not at all i got back in this race because what happened in charlottesville people coming out of the woods carrying torches their veins bulging close your eyes and remember what you saw and a young woman gets killed resisting the hate and violence and the president gets asked to come in and what's he say he says they're very fine people on both sides and you had some very bad people in that group but you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. And I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists because they should be condemned totally. You wouldn't even condemn David Duke for God's sake. You've got David Duke just joined, a bigot, a racist, a problem. Uh, David Duke and robocalls are out again, the white supremacist movement supporting you. Uh, do you have any know. words for that? Well, I disavow. David Duke endorsed me? Okay. All right. I disavow. Okay. When we looked at it and looked at the question, I disavowed David Duke. So I've disavowed David Duke all weekend long on Facebook, on Twitter, and mm -hmm. obviously it's never enough. Mm -hmm. uh, David Duke is a bad person who I disavowed on numerous occasions over the years. I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. Ultimately, he got to the Ku Klux Klan, which obviously I'm going to disavow. I've rejected David Duke, rejected David Duke. Uh, I've rejected the uh, KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. David Duke is saying to his supporters and followers, vote for Donald Trump. White supremacists are saying, vote. do you want those votes? No, I don't want them, and I don't want him to say it. And do you I want, want the supporters? No, I don't want anything. I, I, what do you how think many of white times? supremacists, by the way? I don't like any group of hate. David Duke announced his Senate candidacy, claiming your agenda. Are you ready before you ask the question? Newt Gingrich said, every Republican should repudiate this guy I no did. matter what it takes. And I do. Rebuked. Is that okay? Rebuked. Rebuked. Done. Done. I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. I spoke out forcefully against hatred, bigotry, and violence, and strongly condemned the neo-Nazis, the white supremacists, and the KKK. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. 
At this point, the abusively biased NBC just using white supremacy lie as their way again, once again, always again to smear the president. They don't care about facts. They don't care about research. They don't care about truth. They don't care about fundamental fairness, especially not MSDNC news, which is completely corrupt, as we saw tonight.